Hey everybody, check it out. Here we've got the Lexin LX B4FM Motocom. I got this, this is a dual pack. I got two of them. Um, I can Bluetooth it to my phone when I'm riding, put it in my helmet, um, talk to my son with his. It doesn't fit most things. You can do up to four bikes on this, I believe. It has FM radio. Here's some of the info on the side here. Just came today from Amazon. You can do phone calls. Like I said, FM radio, serial work, water resistant. I seen one video where people were dunking it in the water. I would not suggest doing that. Has noise canceling. Watched a handful of videos. Looks pretty easy to use. Pretty excited. It was either this or I was gonna put a stereo in my Harley, but I think I'm gonna use this so I can talk to other people on rides too. So let's open the box and see what's in there. Okay, let's open the box, show you how, what comes and how it comes. Right out of the gate here, we got a nice little paper. Okay, here's the units. You can see the size of it in your hand. Buttons are really big, easy to touch. I don't know how much they're charged up yet. Um, kind of cool. USB, your charge port, so it takes a mini USB. And here's where you're going to plug in your intercom stuff to go in your helmet awesome well right out of the gate we'll probably pair them to each other since it's the only two i have so then under that we have here's the mounts that will go in the helmet it's kind of a clippy thing and then you'll take these it's kind of like one of them big paper clips but um so it'll clip on the side so we got two of those here's the speaker packs so you got it's like a clip speakers, some foam stuff, we got a couple different kind of mics, so you got an option of a open face mic or you got one you can stick inside your helmet, which is cool. And then we have the manual here. It looks to be pretty easy to use. Here you can see what the buttons do there, intercom, previous track, headset, Power phone, yada yada. It'll hook to your GPS too, supposedly. Um, I looked at some, you know, a couple $300 ones. I think a pair of these were 160 bucks or something for both of them, if I remember right. But um, we'll see. I rolled the dice with Amazon. You know, you can return stuff if you know it doesn't work out or isn't as advertised. So there's what you all get in the package. And yeah, so. Uh, stay tuned. We'll get one, get them charged up, get them in the helmet, and then we'll go from there and, and see how easy they are to use. Okay, I got some of the other stuff out of the bags here just to kind of show you. So it came with, here's the open face mic connected. There's a little plug here and you can choose which mic you want. Um, I'm going to use the soft mic or the soft cabled mic because I don't have any open face helmets. Um, so I'm just gonna double side tape that in there. Here's the speakers. It came with these things and I'm not sure, I'm assuming they're probably just speaker spacers maybe. I'm not sure what those are for yet. I haven't got that far in the manual, but just wanted to kind of get everything laid out. So each one has a charging thing. Um, so yeah, this will just simply plug in once you get it mounted on your helmet. So again, I'm gonna get them charged up and then we'll be back. Okay, I just paired this one here up to my phone. All you'll do is you'll hold down this for like six seconds till these go blue and red. Then you'll uh, find the this unit in your Bluetooth on your phone or whatever and click on it and it'll pair right up. It'll tell you right through the speakers what mode you're in, turn on, pairing mode, pairing success, successful. It was a piece of cake. So I got that done. I couldn't show you because I use using my phone to video at the same time. So. Um, doesn't really work, but anyways, it was super easy. The manual was clear and it was correct. So on to the next thing. Okay, and then to turn it off, you'll just hold this button for a couple seconds and then the lights will go out and that's it. So a piece of cake there. Okay, for playing music, I got the Bluetooth music going on my phone. I obviously can't do it because I'm taking video at the same time. But anyways, this will be your play and pause button, the power button. This will be your volume up and down, obviously. Now, if you press and hold the negative button, the minus volume down button, it'll go to the next song. If you press and hold the plus button, it'll beep. Then it will go to the previous song or the beginning of the song. Then do it again, and it'll go to the song 
prior to that. So, so far pretty easy. The volume goes really loud here. And so far I'm pretty happy. Okay, while I'm playing with it here, I um, went to my maps on my phone and started a route and the directions immediately came right through there. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you can listen to music at the same time. Um, as well as like the instructions come through, you know, if Siri tells you where to turn in that jazz, that I'm not sure. I'd have to do a test and see if that works. But I'm just kind of looking through the manual here to figure out how things go. Um, I think what I might do next is possibly pair it to the other one since I have two. And I know they're going to be used together. So that, that way they'll always just be ready to go. Okay, so let's pair these things together. I've got to turn this one on. Power on, it says. I think it says 15%. So, anyways, what you do here is you hold the intercom button for two seconds until you get the flashing lights. Then click the intercom button on one. Searching. Searching. Counting successful. There you go. Now they're paired up. Good to go. So now you should be able to talk to one and hear it from the other. Click once. Okay, there goes the lights. Now they should be paired. Test, test. Okay, yeah, I can hear it there. Test, test. There, they're paired up and good to go. All right, good, that wasn't too bad. There's a lot of things you gotta try to remember. I would probably either take a picture of this manual, like here's the info on what I just did, and take it with you. Um, Cause you never, you're gonna, never know you're gonna be on a road trip and you're gonna be confused. Uh, cause I already am. So we'll figure it out as we go. We'll just learn another language, right? So no big deal. But so far it's pretty cool. Um, once I get it in some real world use and used to it, then it'll probably get a little easier. So if you're listening to the radio on one or, you know, after you've got these units paired to each other, so you can be listening to the radio. And then if you hit the call button, it'll beep the other one. Or like, so I'm listening to music here and this person wants to get a hold of me and talk to me, you'll hit the call button. See how it connected up? Now they connected up and you can talk to each other. So you can start and end calls. So that's how the comm works. So if you need to talk to somebody, you hit a button. So if you're in radio or Bluetooth or something, and you want to talk to somebody in your that you're Bluetooth or connected to, or if they want to get a hold of you, I just gotta hit the connect button and then it'll beep you and connect you. It would be cool if the music would go and you'd be able to talk, like it would override. I know some other ones will do that, but I guess, you know, what do you expect for 80 bucks a unit or whatever it comes to be. Okay, here's the clip. So you got, it also comes with a 3M sticky clip you could put. So this is what your unit is gonna lock into on your helmet. Actually, I think it'll go this way, but anyway. So what you'll do is it comes with these clips that will go into these little tabs. There's holes here and little pieces. And so here's what it looks like together. So when you go to your helmet, you're gonna clip it open like this, slide it up on your helmet, clip it on, and then you're gonna re remove these tabs. There's these little springy thingies. And you'll do the same on this side. And then your unit will be clipped into your helmet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install one of these, I think, and give it a try. I tinkered with it enough to be dangerous, and I think I'm kind of happy with how things are going to work out here. So let's get one installed, and then I can do some road testing with it. Okay, so I got the mount up in here, so I just opened it up and tucked it in the outside shell here, because I don't want to clamp all this stuff and feel it, so it's got to go in there. And it's in there and I kind of, I didn't put it down in all the way before taking the little clippy off. So once you get it over the edge, you can get the inside clippy off and push it up in there. Um, it 
you can slide it around and move it some, so I hope it's gonna be secure enough, but the unit slides down, clips on pretty good. If I can do it one-handed here, and boom, snapped on. So, like I said, you can slide it front to back pretty easily on your own if you don't like where it is. I'm just kind of starting out there, and we'll see once I get to using it if I like it there or not. It's pretty, pretty big on there, but I guess if you're wearing gloves, you're going to want to be able to grab it pretty easy. So uh, we'll go from there and put the rest of the speakers in now. Okay, so here is the deal. And you'll notice that the speakers, one has got a longer cord than the other. So you're going to want to make note of that. Um, that one will obviously run around to the other side of the helmet. So just something to note. Now we're going to get her installed in here. Install, just in case people didn't know it, so your cheek pads here have snaps. So if you stick your finger in there and pop, they'll pop out. So you, they they want you to put the speakers back in here behind the, the fuzz, <laughs> whatever you want to call it there. So there's actually kind of an indented circle in there like they're made for, at least my helmet is. Uh, you probably, there you can see it. And then you're going to route your wires around kind of underneath you can do it down underneath inside here, so get everything hidden really well. So that's pretty cool. Got the first speaker, goes up in there, up around, so I figured I can run the wires kind of through here and up in there. You can see it, and then it goes up around the back of the pad, and then there you can see it stuck in there. So now once I get my deal snapped back in place here, it's back in there behind the little pad deal there. I have to put my helmet on make sure it doesn't touch your ears, but they're pretty thin, so I don't think they're going to be too much of an issue, but you can play with positioning a little bit as well, probably, and get the kind of clearance that you want. Okay, same deal with the left speaker. Just kind of routed the wires the same direction. Get it in there. I can't get the snap one-handed, but anyways, it's going to be down in there. So, get that. Next thing we'll do is put the mic in. Got the mic up in there, and that just kind of goes up underneath in here. Um, I put it on. I don't. I don't think they touched my ears. I don't remember what it was like before, but everything was good. So there it is on there. And it's a decent sized unit. It's not small. Um, I'll probably once I get it situated how I like it in the right position, I'll probably go to the sticky mount here because that thing is just gonna fit so much better and suck it right up to the body better. But anyways, so far so good. Giving her a thumbs up, time to go for a ride. Okay, everybody, just came back from another ride. I gotta say, the more I use it, the more I like it. Um, I know yesterday I thought maybe the sound was too high and I couldn't get it low enough, but today um, I could get it to where it was, you, you still knew it was definitely on. The lowest setting is still plenty loud. I should say, but it's not too loud like I thought yesterday, so I don't know. Like I said, the more I use it, the more I kind of dig it. Um, so a little ride on my lecture today, but um, just simple to use. Um, again, the more you use it, the more you'll get used to it. So hold this. It'll tell you power on. It'll tell you the battery. I charged it up yesterday and used it a few times. The battery's still at 100%. I just want a nice little ride. And it's still at 100%. Um, so anyways, you power it on. It'll automatically connect to your Bluetooth. Once it does that, once you hit this button, it's like the play button. So it'll make the songs in your phone start playing. Um, you push this again, it'll pause it. Hold down the minus, then it'll go to FM mode. And then you can listen to your radio, obviously volume up and down. Um, if you're paired to another one like we showed earlier, you click that to basically make a call to your other headset um yeah no i'm i'm pretty happy with it i'm definitely going to keep it uh, i might actually get a third one because i've got a dual sport helmet um, that i need one for as well so what the heck so anyways like comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks for stopping by Okay guys, I'm gonna do one follow-up. I know I talked about buying a whole nother unit, but instead I noticed you could buy one of these pretty cheap. Um, so you get everything but the unit. So here's the, well, so to speak, like here's the speakers, all the speakers and stuff, uh, and the mics, but no clips and no 
I guess, base unit, so to speak. So, like when I go to put this on another helmet, since I have two, I'll just take my main one that's Bluetooth to my phone, and then I'll take one of the spare mounts, like the sticky on one, and stick it on my other helmet. So now I've got two, two helmets set up. I can't wear them both at the same time, right? So I'll use this expensive part on both. And got another, I think it was 20 bucks maybe? I'll have a link down below in the description for this. So anyway, so now I can run the unit tied to my phone on my two helmets and save me, you know, 80 bucks or whatever for a whole nother setup. So I think that's a pretty good way to go. So I'm gonna get this put in my dirt bike helmet and then I'll have uh, tunes and Bluetooth and phone and everything in that one. So pretty awesome. Um, yeah.